Welcome back friends in the channel. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to make primers by using Snapgin. And there are some important points to be noted for making primers. So first point is like general length in normally it is 18 to 24 basis uh, for normal amplification. But in case, in some cases like if it is uh, overlapping PCR in some cases, in it should be a uh, little more so that's okay no problem and also 40 to 60 percent gc content um, and melting temperature should be 50 to 60 degrees centigrade normally um, and one binding side this is very important point actually so whenever you uh, make any primer so you have to have uh, this can this uh, point to be noted because uh, otherwise if it is if this primer has more than one binding site so it will it will it will be a big problem actually so because it will uh, make some non-specific binding okay so let's uh, move on to the snap gene so here mm, so okay so i want to i want to make the primers from here so you see so this is a gc con this is the gc and we know that the gc is the stronger bond because because gc has three hydrogen bond and at has two hydrogen bond so if you if you uh, when, if you select from the gc around one to two gc pairs it's better to start and end to to have a stable primers so i can so this is actually you can see but i cannot um, select this one because this is 30 percent gc it should be a little more Okay, so this is okay, no problem actually. But uh, thirty eight percent also a little low, so I think it's better to go um, another part. Thirty six, thirty six, thirty six. Okay, let's move on to the another part. GC thirty, thirty two. yeah so this is okay this is fine so you see this is the 19 bp base pair wrong and 42 percent gc okay so you can and but so it's okay so if you make the primer after that you can check it the binding site and the tm top strand now if you now you can see here the so the binding site only one right so this is okay no problem this is a good primer and also tm is is here is showing tm 50 degrees centigrade so this is actually a good primer so now you can rename it Okay, so this is I have already. Let's change the name. One exit. Okay, so now this is the forward primer. So now you can, if you take your cursor here, so it shows everything in details about this primer. So TM is 50 degrees centigrade, 19 long is. Uh, nucleotide 
and on binding site 42 percent gc so this is very perfect okay so also i want to make another primer here that is that is the uh, reverse primer Okay, so this part is okay. So forty one percent GC and twenty two base pair long. So this is fine, no problem. So I can add primer because this is a reverse primer. So on X, so I can also rename it on X and R add primer. Okay, so you can see here the one binding site 41 percent gc and 54 for 54 degrees centigrade tm so this is perfect no problem so now if you select if you click shift from your keyboard and click this one okay and then release the shift button and click your here yeah, this primer now the amplicons amplicon part will be selected so this is your amplicon part so this is it's showing here 430 base pair long okay so uh, if you if you amplify um, using this two primer so you'll get 430 base pair long sequence so this is just for the normal amplification so if you want to if you want to delete any part so how to make it how to make that kind of primer so let's as let's assume that you want to delete some part from here for example you want to you want to delete it arginine arginine to any other amino acid okay right so for example arginine to Mm, methionine or sorry arginine to mm, phenylalanine so if you want to do that so this is aga this codon so this codon is is uh, designed is designated for the arginine so let's go to the codon usage table from here and you can see here the phenylalanine if you want to change it to phenylalanine Sorry, this is not the deletion. This is I'm changing. Uh, this is a mutation. I want to make the mutation. How to make it? So phenylalanine. You can see here the phenylalanine here. But uh, in, so what kind of organism you want to you want to make this expression? So you have to go through accordingly. So if you go for E. coli, so you have to go. You have to select E. coli. So in that case. Uh, phenylalanine is 0.58 that is a higher frequency so we have to consider this triple t for the phenylalanine so you have to change you have to change this to triple t right then it will it will change to phenylalanine then how to how to make it so first you can you can do one thing you can do one thing uh, you can You can select it and add features here. Just for visualization. Okay. So this part you want to change it. Mm. 
you can write here you can write here edit features so that is um, what you want to change you can write here so rg92 rg2 final element okay okay then when you it can show in here so now you can make primer here now you can you can or you can make a primer here so that is 31 percent you see that is not good which is also same you have to go for little little bigger primer for these kind of mutations 31 percent that's not the right It's okay, 38 percent. That's also reasonable, no problem. So 48, 48 BP long, and uh, so if you if you make the primer, then you can understand that how many binding site is there. Top brand. So now it it can it's showing only one binding site. That's okay, and TM is uh, 65. That's okay, no problem. Now you can. Select primer one y f okay. and then in the same position you can make one reverse primer at primer and bottom stand y r. So, so these two primers has been created. This is also you can check it. One binding side, thirty eight percent GC, sixty six percent degree TM. That's okay. So now, when you uh, when you make the ampli amplification, um, when I when you amplify your product that product that template that you would like to make the mutation in that template you can use this two primer to make in this part mutation and when you do the transformation in that case because this is the complementary part right so this and so when you, so these primers are complementary so uh, after um, after transformation no need to ligase ligate it the the, the PCR product after transformation so automatically it will it will join because it has the complementary part so this is the actually this kind of primer design this is actually uh, very it's very efficient because of uh, no need actually like it like it like it some so that is I think uh, that's why this kind of primer design is very essential and important so okay so uh, and also uh, you can make also other kind of mutations so i will make another video for how to do this other kind of deletion or addition mutation uh, thanks guys i hope this video will be helpful